Well, he, uh, he looked real. Uh, when I first lifted my head and saw him sitting on the couch, uh, he was a real person. He was a very familiar person to me. Um, and I started seeing human expressions on his face. The first thing he did was laugh, because it looked silly, this kid acting like a reporter. Um, and then at one point he grimaced, because I, I put the camera right up to his face. Um, uh, and uh, so uh, the other thing that, uh, that I noticed quite quickly was how affectionate he was with Yoko. Uh, he was holding on to her the whole time. Uh, they were holding hands. He would be whispering in her ear. She would whisper in his ear. They'd giggle. They'd kiss. They'd touch. Um, uh, it, it was clear to me, uh, with all the controversy about Yoko Ono and what was going on at the time, that uh, they loved each other. So that was a, a really strong impression that I had. Um, I also uh, uh, came away uh, feeling that John Lennon was a very kind guy. I'm sure he was many other things, and a lot of people experienced more of John Lennon than, than I did, like Paul Ringel and, and George and other people, but uh, he, was, um, uh, he was very kind and generous with his time and treated me with a great deal of respect, even though he was under a lot of pressure and uh, a lot of media wanted to speak to him. Uh, he knew it was important. Uh, to talk to a kid who loved him and loved the Beatles and uh, was, uh, uh, was patient and listened. Uh, if you listen to the tape, um, he's listening to me and engaged in a conversation with me. And uh, if you look at the photo of John and me, he's looking right into my eyes as I am into his. So those were my impressions of John Lennon.